The members of VSOG had been handpicked for their skills, experience, and the ability to work together as a team under extreme circumstances. With the success of Operation Shadow Strike, VSOG now had a foothold within Sumava. Their overall mission was simple to assault an airfield currently occupied by General Simovich's troops and take control of it. The team had been training for months in the event that the intel was accurate about what was going to occur in Sumava. They had studied maps, analyzed key locations and the terrain, practiced their assault tactics until they could do them blindfolded. They knew that the mission would be dangerous, but they were prepared to do whatever it took to succeed. Operation Ghost Wave, Sumava Campaign Part 2. Tango 1 was again located at their campsite at the south central location of Sumava, while the remaining members of VSOG were staged at the southeastern area at the previously secured bunker. Kvilda needed to be secured by the main force prior to moving north towards the airfield, as this was key in preventing counterattacks from the southern position and enabling a suitable route for VSOG's quick reaction force to support the main contingent. The enemy forces had not yet fully secured the airfield, so this allowed Tango 1 to move in undercover as Russian PMC to gather intel on the enemy composition and sabotaging the RAF radar network. As Tango 1 moved north towards the airfield, they remained cautious and alert blending in with the Russian PMC attire to maintain their cover. They carefully observed the surroundings, taking note of any potential threats or enemy presence. Using their specialized equipment, they conducted reconnaissance on the airfield, meticulously gathering information on the enemy force's troop movements and strength. Once inside, Tango 1 continued to record and relay vital information that would give VSOG the upper hand during the airfield assault. The next step was to plant charges on air assets and infrastructure, along with hacking and disabling the RAF's radar network. Ghost, the two-man sniper team, had been tasked with gathering crucial intelligence on the town of Kvilda. Their mission was to move west from their staging location and establish a hidden observation point, providing eyes on the town and its surroundings. Equipped with state-of-the-art sniper rifles and their signature ghillie suits, Ghost moved silently through the dense forest, their movements blending seamlessly with the natural surroundings. They navigated carefully, taking care to avoid any potential enemy patrols or surveillance. The operations commander stood before Misfit, Tyrant, and Paladin, briefing them on the mission ahead. Their first objective was to secure the town of Cavilda. Ghost, the two-man sniper team, had provided valuable information, allowing the team to plan their approach strategically. Misfit would be the ground force, while Tyrant, piloted by Pro Noob, was tasked with providing aerial support. Their primary role was to conduct reconnaissance and close air support from the skies, utilizing their advanced sensors and cameras to capture live footage of the enemy's positions. They would act as Misfit's eyes in the sky, relaying crucial information back to the ground team. Paladin, commanded by Floki, would serve as the transport helicopter for Misfit. They would ensure safe insertion and extraction of the ground team, ready to respond rapidly if any emergency evacuations were needed. Paladin, the transport helicopter, soared through the skies as it headed west towards the LZ, at the southern end of Philly. On board, the members of Misfit, the infantry squad, prepared themselves for the upcoming mission. Tyrant, the close air support aircraft, accompanied Paladin providing aerial protection and firepower to assist Misfit on the ground. The synchronized efforts of both air assets ensured a higher level of safety and firepower for the team. As Paladin approached the LZ, the crew communicated with Misfit to coordinate a smooth landing. 
the transport helicopter skillfully touched down, allowing Misfit to swiftly disembark and establish their presence in the area. With Tyrant providing close air support, Misfit moved strategically, carefully navigating through the terrain while maintaining communication with the operations commander. The squad utilized the intelligence gathered by Ghost, combined with their own situational awareness, to make informed decisions and adapt their tactics accordingly. The presence of the Paladin and Tyrant provided a sense of security and firepower to Misfit, allowing them to focus on their mission objectives without being overwhelmed by enemy resistance. The close coordination between the infantry squad and the air assets enhanced their effectiveness and increased their chances of successfully completing their mission in Kvilda. As the mission progressed, Misfit, with support from Paladin and Tyrant, would face various challenges and obstacles. However, with their combined skills, intelligence, and firepower, they were determined to overcome any adversity and accomplish their objectives. With the intelligence gathered from their reconnaissance at the airfield, Tango-1 recognized the need to reposition and provide crucial support to the team. They swiftly moved southeast from the airfield towards Kvilda, ensuring that they remained covert and undetected. As Tango-1 approached Kvilda, they communicated with Misfit, Paladin, and Tyrant to coordinate their arrival and establish a unified front. Their strategic positioning from the north would allow them to flank the enemy forces and create a pincer movement increasing the chances of a successful mission. Once in position, Tango-1 utilized their specialized skills to support Misfit, Paladin, and Tyrant. They engaged in precise and coordinated actions, providing cover fire, gathering additional intelligence, and disrupting the enemy's defenses from the north. The synchronized efforts of Tango-1, Ghost, Misfit, Paladin, and Tyrant created a multi-dimensional attack, overwhelming the enemy forces and diminishing their ability to respond effectively. With Tango-1 support from the north, the team had a strategic advantage that would significantly contribute to the success of the mission in Kvilda. With Kvilda secured, Ghost, the designated observer, moved northwest towards the airfield, taking a position from the south to gather crucial intelligence on enemy activities. Meanwhile, Tyrant, the close air support aircraft, flew to the northeastern side of the airfield. Their mission was to provide aerial firepower and destroy any targets that Ghost marked. The coordination between Ghost and Tyrant was vital, as Ghost's observations would guide Tyrant's strikes, ensuring maximum efficiency and minimizing collateral damage. Paladin, with Misfit on board, adjusted its course and flew north, circling around the eastern side of the airfield. The purpose of this maneuver was to find a suitable landing zone where Misfit could be safely inserted to initiate the assault. After successfully inserting Misfit onto the ground and providing close air support, Paladin, now empty and with Misfit on the ground, prepared to return to base. To ensure a safe and efficient journey back, Paladin decided to follow the same insertion As more targets were lazed and identified by Ghost on the ground, Tyrant continued its engagement with ground contacts using air-to-ground missiles. The coordination between Ghost and Tyrant remained vital to ensure accurate target acquisition and effective strikes. Uh, Tango 1 to Tyrant, Red Smoke, to me hot. The team's unwavering determination, 
effective communication and coordinated actions allowed them to effectively navigate through the challenges posed by the intensifying infantry engagements. Through their collective efforts, they would continue to press forward, achieving their objectives and securing victory. As the infantry engagements became more complex, the team's communication and coordination became even more critical. Misfit, Tango, Ghost, and the operations commander Odin worked in unison, constantly adapting their strategies and adjusting their priorities based on the evolving battlefield situation. systems of Tyrant allowed it to quickly detect and engage any enemy attempts to reinforce the airfield. The momentum generated by VSOG's current success and effective coordination continued to propel the team forward towards completing their objectives. The string of victories and the successful defense of the airfield boosted the morale of the team and instilled a sense of confidence and determination. The team's professionalism, expertise, and unwavering commitment to the mission enabled them to overcome obstacles and achieve success. Their coordinated efforts, coupled with the momentum gained, allowed them to maintain the initiative and keep the enemy in the back. With the airfield secured and friendly forces moving in to maintain security, VSOG's mission was completed successfully. The team had achieved their objectives and ensured the best possible outcome during such a complex environment. Throughout the extraction journey, the team remained vigilant, maintaining a high level of readiness in case of any unexpected threats or encounters. They continued to rely on their training and experience, ensuring the safety of their mission and their return to the staging location.